Hello, everybody. Dave Burke, First Star Football Report. And we're back looking at high school prospects. We're staying in Ohio in this one. What kid we feel it's a really hidden gem that schools are missing out on. Who is it? Stay tuned and find out. All right, we want to thank First Star Logistics for all the sponsorship they've given us over the last couple of years. Great company. They are looking to hire people, so make sure you go and check out First Star Logistics if you're looking for a new career. All right, let's talk about this. We're looking at prospects throughout the Midwest especially, but we're looking on focus in Ohio as our main area. And we feel we have a young man who, in the class of 2021, might be one of the biggest hidden gems out there. And I'm talking about Garrett Jossworth, tight end. And you're going to see his film is a wide receiver, but I feel he's a tight end at the college level out of Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. And we really like this young man because we feel he has a lot to offer as a prospect. We're going to show you some film right now so you can kind of have a chance to see what he is. Again, we're talking about Garrett Jossworth, Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy, wide receiver here on the outside. You can see great hands, and then he's able to make that run after the catch and break free and score. And we really like what he's doing here. We Outside lineup as a receiver, shows the hands, and then shows the ability to get downfield and make a play. Now, keep in mind a couple of things about Garrett Josworth. One, did not start playing football until he was a freshman in high school. He played most of his sophomore year on defense, not on offense. So last season really was the first time on offense he had a chance to break, break out and really kind of show what he can do. But he was doing it at 6'4", and in that 190, 195 pound range. Now you get into what you're looking at now is we've had a chance to watch what Garrett Josworth can do as a not just a player on the field last season, but also working out. And we really like what he's done. Last season, 45 receptions, 599 yards, seven touchdowns for Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. And like I said, in that 190, 195 pound range, during the offseason, he was preparing for a big spring evaluation period and summer camps, and he built that frame up to where he was 215 pounds. We had a chance to watch him work out down at Black Sheep Performance before the COVID-19 virus shut things down and was very impressed with what he was doing in those workouts. And, you know, we really feel this is a young man who has the ability – to play at the college level, at the Division I level. We think his best football is way ahead of him because he's still developing as a receiver. Again, we project him as a tight end, not a wide receiver. And we had a chance to watch him as a sophomore line up and play defensive back, and he had no problems doing that. And then you get into now watching him as a receiver, and you sit there and look at the ball skills he has with his hands, was a multi-sport guy, but because he wanted to get the weight on his body, he did step away from basketball to work out and train to add the, the bulk. And we had a chance to watch him work out, like I said, down at Black Sheep, and he was working out next to a young man named Marshall Lang who played at St. Xavier High School in Cincinnati and signed with Northwestern. And these guys, it was great watching these guys because they're both quick twitch guys. A lot of people didn't give Marshall Lang a lot of credit when he was coming up through the process until he got to camps between his junior and senior year. Then he ended up with offers from Pittsburgh, and Northwestern signed with Northwestern, and he's going to be a kid to watch in the Big Ten in years to come. But we think Garrett Josworth is just scratching the surface of what type of player he's going to become. But college coaches right now, I don't think they really know that much about him. He had a lot of schools bring him in, kind of in for some junior days, especially in the Mid-American Conference schools, but none of them have pulled the trigger. And we're waiting for that first school to kind of pull that trigger because I think they would probably step forward in his mind. High academic kid, so no questions there about his academics. Very dedicated. Uh, like we said, 215 pounds now. Great wingspan, great ball skills, and he's going to continue growing and build that body up and become a tight end at the next level. So we really like what we saw from Garrett Josworth. Again, 6'4", 215 pound tight end. May play wide receiver again next year, but we feel he's going to project as a tight end. For all the latest news, Make sure you check out firststarfootballreport.com. And we like to build our YouTube channel. So subscribe to our, you know, hit the subscribe button. And also 
click the bell so you can get notifications when we post more of these videos. Hopefully you like this one. We got a lot more we're going to be doing coming soon. Plus we're going to have some possible live interviews with some people, players, prospects, former players who are now gone on and played at the college, maybe in the NFL level. So stay tuned for more.